So welcome or welcome back and I need help at Cisco. In this example we need to find the measure of angle AMS, this guy, and the measure of angle CRF. This gentleman here. And we need to justify our answer. First of all, these two lines are parallel lines, which on A, B and C, D, that should be given. And the question is, how am I going to find it? Look at here. When a transversal intersects, two parallel lines, eight angles are produced. And these angles have some properties. But let's see first the two parallel lines and the transversal I'm going to work with. So I'm going to start with angle AMS, which is, like I said, this one. If you notice, we have line AB. We have line CD, the two parallel lines I mentioned, and the transversal is GH, this line. All right. And this is the angle we're looking for. And we know this angle is 32 degrees. All right. Which is this angle. These two angles are not congruent, and we can see that in the picture, which probably is not the best way to approach the problem. These angles are supplementary. Why? Because angle AMS and angle MSR are same side interior angle. So that's I'm going to write here. Measure of angle AMS plus the measure of angle MSR. equals 180 and the justification is they are consecutive angle or same side interior angles so either way is is good both of both are very good uh, name for these two angles but again the measure of angle AMS and we know MSR is 32 degrees equals 180 so we're going to subtract 32 from both sides and we get the measure of angle AMS equals 148 degree and now let's move to the second angle that we need to find out CRF and you notice this angle is formed by the two parallel lines A, B, and C, D, and this transversal. So let me make a simpler picture. Okay, so this is the angle we look for, and we notice this angle here is 107 degree. That is given to us. And again, you can take a look at the picture, and you notice they are not congruent. And I'm going to say again, that's not a way to to figure out this problem. So how are we going to do it? We're going to look this angle, which is 107, and this angle here, they are what we call them, again, consecutive angles. So that will be this 107 and this angle here. So the measure of angle BNR, which is that 107, plus the measure of angle R N R S equals 180. All right? They are again consecutive angles or same side interior. Consecutive angles or same side interiors. That is the justification we are asked to bring. So uh, now we can find the measure of angles N R S because B N B N R is 107. And the way we find it is by subtracting from 180, 107. So we have the measure of angle and RS will be uh, 73 degrees. Okay. And how can I find now CRF? If you take a look, these two angles are what we call vertical angles. So they are congruent. I'm going to write that statement here. Angle CRF 
is congruent with angle NRS. I'm going to say the justification is vertical angles. So basically the measure of angle CRF equals the measure of angles NRS, which brings me the answer for our problem. The measure of angle CRF will be nothing else than 73 degree because they are congruent. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.